night. So, do you know what day it is? I actually don't know what day it is. Anyway, we're reading Throne of Glass today. So if you haven't seen my Assassin's Blade vlog, I will leave that in the corner because yeah, I'm doing a vlog for each Throne of Glass book in the lead up to Kingdom of Ash. I'm so excited. So I'm gonna take you along with me while I read this. I'm gonna show you what I annotate and it's just gonna be a bucket of fun. If you're curious as to my color coding system, I will leave the Assassin's Blade vlog in the corner. I explain it at the beginning of that video. And just so you're aware, this video will be full of spoilers for Throne of Glass and potential mild spoilers for the rest of the series. So let's just get started. I've got frozen yogurt here. It's raining outside. It's just a lovely gloomy, day full of frozen yogurt and reading good books. I'm excited. <laughs> mm. That's the stuff. So first let's take off the precious dust jacket. We don't want to ruin it, especially because this is signed and personalized by the author to me, which never happens in Australia. Sorry, this lighting is whack, but we're just dealing with it. Okay, let's go. Okay, I'm on page two. I forgot how quickly Kale shows up. He's there on the first page, like what? And we find out that she spent a year in the mines. That's rough. I'm so excited. Hi, hello. So I've just reached page 50, I'm on chapter eight and I've only put one tab in, but I have annotated some stuff. So I will just show you what I've done. And if you can hear Luna playing ball in the background, I apologize. The first thing I annotated was on page five. Um, why are you licking the air? I have many questions. Excuse me. <sighs> Can I help you? Why are you so cute though? You're so cute. Why are you guys so cute? Blackie, I'm trying to show my annotations. Huh? Oh, how nice. Okay, the first thing, you can kind of see it under Blackie. I put hearts all around the crown prince of Adalin <laughs> because Dorian is Bay. I'm struggling, man. Okay, excuse me, you can come on my lap. Yes, I thought you'd like my lap better than the book. Okay. Are you comfy now? Good. Okay, so yeah, I did that because I'm Dorian trash. Is anyone surprised? <laughs> Not really. Again, I said this in my last vlog, but the annotations and the tabbing will increase the further I go into the series. These first books, uh, there's just not as much to annotate. Here, um, Selena's talking about, Selena had once met a young woman from that cursed land, and though she turned out to be both cruel and bloodthirsty, she was still just a human and had still bled like one. And I wrote, Ansel, heart, because, you know, we, we, we stand. Blackie is using my arm as a pillow, so this may get tricky. <laughs> and here's the one I tabbed. I just really like this quote. Still, the image haunted his dreams throughout the night. A lovely girl gazing at the stars and the stars who gazed back. <laughs> Emo. And yeah, that's it. I'm up to chapter eight. So, so far, they've gotten Selena out of the mines. They're back at the castle. The king is being awful to Dorian. And the competition is about to start. Woohoo! And now he's using my book as a pillow. And Luna is licking the bed. Help! I just reached the famous library quote, which I love. Libraries were full of ideas, perhaps the most dangerous and powerful of all weapons. I'm just loving this scene. The, she's just so happy to be in the library and I can just so relate. And Luna, can you stop? I'm getting so emo over the handwritten letters between Selena and Dorian discussing books. Why are they so precious? And he's like, of course you're free to read as many of the books in the castle library as you wish, but I command you to read these first so that we might discuss them. <laughs> ah, I love them. And I love how Kale's like, I didn't know assassins like to read. <laughs> okay, in typical April fashion, I fell asleep reading. So I'm on page 147, so we're not doing too great. But I think, what was the last time I talked to you guys about? The whole library thing, I think? Okay, the next thing I tabbed and annotated was a angry slash feminism thing. I don't know how to explain what I'm talking about. But Selena says, I hate women like that. They're so desperate for the attention of men that they'd willingly betray and harm members of their own sex. 
and we claim men cannot think with their brains. At least men are direct about it. I don't really know how I feel about that quote. I mean, I agree that I hate when girls hate other girls, but yeah, I don't know. Anyway, next. Oh well, yeah, we met Caltaine, we met Nehemia, we met a lot of people. So far, two of the contestants have died. It's all very exciting stuff. Oh, here's another angry quote. How Kane says, you'd be better off on your back, learning tricks useful to a woman. In fact, I can teach you some tonight if you'd like. Bleh. Disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. He can choke. For a little while while I was reading, I forgot that I was supposed to be annotating and tabbing. I was just so sucked into the story, which I don't know if that happens to you guys, but it happened to me. And the last thing I tabbed is a orange relatable tab when Dorian says, you're lonely? And Selena says, lonely? No, I can survive well enough on my own if given the proper reading material. Relatable. And that's all I got too. Um, but my camera battery is flashing at me, so I'm gonna keep reading and charge the battery and then check back in with you and hopefully I will have read quite a lot more because I really wanted to get this done today. So let's do this. Okay, um, I had to stop myself because I realized, April, you need to stop and actually update instead of just keep reading because I couldn't stop reading. Oh guys, I love this series so much. Okay, so I've been tabbing some things. I've got three favorite scenes tabbed up the top. I think I got that idea from Brittany the Bibliophile, I'm pretty sure. I saw that um, in her videos. Yeah, she tabbed her favorite scenes on the top instead of on the sides, which I thought was a really good idea. I didn't tab this, but I underlined it in my very messy scroll. I underlined, courage of the heart is very rare. Let it guide you. I don't know why, I just liked it. Then we reach my first favorite scene which is where selena is trying to play um oh well in australia we call it pool but i think they call it billards or something like that yeah we call it pool and she can't play and she's so frustrated and it's so funny and dorian has been watching her the whole time and it's hilarious so i put a yellow tab because i found that scene really funny and then they just have the most pure conversation he shows her how to play and it's just the most precious thing in the world and then not long after that i have another favorite scene where selena basically shows everyone how badass she is instead of hiding it and i don't know i love those scenes where you know she finally reveals herself and everyone's shocked and at how awesome she is so that's when she was one-on-one uh, -on -one um dueling Varen and just like straight away she just like kicks him in the chest and sends him flying and i just love it then on that same page we have a quote that i've seen often on like merch and stuff she had often wished for adventure for old spells and wicked kings and i don't know i just like that quote then over here we have um orange for relatable find the evil in the castle but the only truly evil thing in this world is the man ruling it and I was like, wow, United States of America. Then here, yeah, I didn't tab it or anything, but I just put a little heart when they're sort of declaring their friendship for each other, Nehemia and Selena. I just think it's a pure, precious moment. Then here we have my first sad tab because we find out that 500 rebels were slaughtered. And it's just so sad, especially Nahimi's reaction. Then here we have another of my favorite scenes is when Selena has her period <laughs> and Kale is like shook. He doesn't know what to do. So he just like bolts. And then the reason why this is my one of my favorite scenes is because of Dorian, because he comes in and they have the best conversation. And, you know, he tells her that you know, he hates what, he's, what his father is doing and that he doesn't want to be like him. And it's just... <laughs> so precious and then he tells her she's beautiful <sighs> and then of course i tabbed the part when he kisses her cheek and it's just too precious for this world and yeah now i'm up to page 266 and i'm just loving my reread i'm such trash for this series like why is it just everything <sighs> okay so wow i look like a wreck <laughs> i'm gonna keep reading we don't have that much long left. We have about 130-ish pages left. So I'm going to buckle down and read those now. Ugh, you know, I finished. Oh man, this book though. So this is what my copy looks like. 
We have four favorite scenes and lots of tabs and annotations. So yeah, let's just go through the annotations that I did in the last section of the book. First, we have a funny tab on page 273 when it's Yulmus and Selena ate all the candy and she smiles and her teeth are red and Philip is like, you look like a demon. <laughs> I don't know, I just found that funny because I love Philippa. And then we have my last favorite scene of the book, which is when Dorian gives her Fleetfoot. I mean, that precious little, little doggy. And then on page 299, I marked Selena and Dorian's little kissy scene after the ball. Then I put a little heart when she decided to call the dog a Fleetfoot. Then on page 305, we have a quote, we all bear scars, Dorian. Mine just happened to be more visible than most. I love that quote. And then just before the final duels are starting, I love when Selena says to Kale, no matter what happens, I want to thank you. For what? For making my freedom mean something. <laughs> it's fine, I'm fine. And then here, when she beats Grave and she's like, my name is Selena Sardothian. But it makes no difference if my name's Selena or Lillian or bitch because I'd still beat you no matter what you call me. And I just wrote queen. I love it when people get what they deserve. Then on page 399, we have one of the most famous Throne of Glass quotes from Eleanor. You could rattle the stars. You could do anything if only you dared. And deep down, you know it too. That's what scares you most. Iconic. And then on page 400, I underlined when Eleanor says blood ties can't be broken, which is obviously a little hint at how Queen Eleanor and Selena are related. And that's it. Final thoughts on Throne of Glass. I do think this is probably the weakest book in the series, but I still love it, even though it's like kind of predictable and not as expansive as, you know, the series gets. But I love it so much. Like I said, I, this is the fifth time I've read this book and I still love it so much. I just love the characters, I love the world, I just love everything about it and I'm so excited to keep reading because it just gets even more epic with each book. So yeah, that is it for this vlog. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay tuned for my Crown of Midnight reading vlog which will be up in a few days. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon in a new video. Goodbye!